bees don't just live in hives and trees, some species can also create nests underground. Unlike more common bees, ground nesting bees don't produce honey. Like more common bees, ground nesting bees are usually non aggressive until they're provoked. For example, you can accidentally run over a nest when mowing your lawn. Large populations of ground nesting bees can pose a danger to people or pets. In this video, we'll go over how to detect ground nesting bees, how to control their activity, and how to prevent them from coming back. Check the video's description for timestamps if you want to jump to a specific point. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. There are many species of ground nesting bee found in the US, each with varying appearances. Generally, these bees grow to be from one half to three quarters of an inch in length. Their body colors include black, blue, green, and copper. When talking about ground nesting bees, it's important to distinguish them from bumblebees. Bumblebees also nest in the ground, but those bees are beneficial insects that are important pollinators. A bumblebee has a softer appearance, with hair covering its head, thorax, and abdomen, unlike other ground nesting bees that have hairs only in specific places. While bumblebees also grow up to three quarters of an inch in length, their body colors can include yellow, black, white, red, and orange. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check your property to confirm the pest's presence or find activity hotspots. Ground nesting bees prefer well-drained, loose soil that's bare or sparse with grass since it's easier to burrow into. They'll also burrow into existing holes that are about one quarter of an inch in diameter. Ground nesting bees can commonly be found in lawns, gardens, riverbanks, and roadsides. If you suspect ground nesting bees on your property, look for small round holes in the soil that are about a quarter of an inch in diameter. These holes are usually surrounded by mounds of loose dirt where bees have dug their tunnels. Also look for the bees themselves. Ground nesting bees fly lower to the ground than other bees. Ground nesting bees are solitary bees with each bee maintaining its own tunnel. Larger populations can dot large areas. After identifying your pest and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products settle completely. To manage ground nesting bees on your property, start with an insecticide like Supreme IT. Supreme IT is a bifenthrin based liquid insecticide concentrate that is able to treat over 70 different pests. When applied, Supreme IT will leave a residual chemical barrier that will control pests for up to 90 days after application. This product is a liquid concentrate, so it will need to be mixed with water. For residential applications, you can use a handheld pump sprayer or a backpack sprayer. First, mix and apply a solution over ornamental plants at the labeled rate of 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of product in one gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Spray shrubbery and ornamentals from above and below to coat all leaf surfaces. Spray all foliage to the point of wet but not runoff. Next, mix and apply a solution over your lawn at the labeled rate of one fluid ounce of product in one gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. Spray your lawn evenly with a fan or cone spray pattern, paying particular attention to patchy spots where bees are likely to burrow and saturate any burrow openings thoroughly. Next, move on to use an insecticide like Striker, Wasp, and Hornet Killer. This product works to control stinging pests rapidly and can spray from a distance of about 20 feet. From about 6 to 15 feet away, drench any burrows you've spotted. Then spray directly into the nest openings for about 6 to 8 seconds to wet all pests inside. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after applying pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to ensure it can't happen. To stop burrowing insects from targeting your lawn, promote the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that attract pests to your property. Mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick, growing density. Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches. Rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris. And employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that it will encourage weeds. 
Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. For long-term control, be sure to make regular reapplications of Supreme IT. Supreme IT will last for up to 90 days, so make treatments every three months for year-round control. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop ground nesting bees from tearing up your turf, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.